in this video we will learn about how to create the three dimensional model of the spacer plate shown in this drawing let's move on to on shape to create the 3d model click on create and select the document rename the document as spacer plate Click on create. So in this, the profile is on the front view and the thickness is having the top view of 50 mm. So let's try to create this profile and then we will try to extrude it for the thickness of 50 mm. So let's try to create the profile on the frontal plane. Select the front plane and click on sketch. Right click the mouse button and select view normal to sketch plane. Now let's try to create the profile sketch. So here, okay. So let's try to create a rough sketch of this profile and let's try to provide the dimensions. Whenever we are drawing the profile, at least one of the constraints should be on the horizontal or vertical line so that it is easy to fix the constraints. It's better to start from the origin. So let's select the line command. Click on the origin and start your profile. I have created the rough profile. Let's try to provide the dimensions for it. So here the horizontal dimension is 500 mm. So let's change the value by providing that dimension. So click on the dimension icon. Select the horizontal line and change the value to 500. Whenever you are selecting 500, automatically it will scale the entire profile. So first come out of the command. In order to see the entire profile, you can select zoom to fit. Okay. So that the entire profile will come within the screen. Okay. So 500. Let's provide other dimensions. So this total height is 300. Dimension from this one to here, it is 300. Then let's try to provide any one of the side. So here, this horizontal distance is 125 for the inclined face and the height is 100. So this height between the two points is 100. Let's try to move downwards. So between this two the dimension horizontal dimension is 125 this feature and this feature is symmetric okay so let's try to draw a line of symmetry here so that i can able to apply the feature at any uh, if any uh, symmetrical feature is there i can able to apply it easily so let's try to draw the line of symmetry so select the construction line and select the line command and in the midpoint of it draw a line of symmetry now let's make this one and this one this line and this line symmetrical with respect to this one so select the symmetric icon so this line 
and this line is symmetrical with respect to this one. Now you can see here both lines are adjusted. I no need to change the dimensions. So it will automatically adjust to the dimensions I have provided over here. Now let's try to draw the center circle which is of 200 mm diameter. So let's select the circle command and draw the circle, change the dimension to 200. So since it is not fixed, the location is not fixed, it is still in blue color. It is not yet constrained, fully constrained. So let's try to provide the location of it. So the center height is at 150 mm from the base. So let's try to provide the dimension. So this one from the horizontal, it is 150. The horizontal distance is not required to be provided since it is located on this uh, line of symmetry. So the defaultly the distance from one vertical line, one of the vertical line to the center of the circle is defaultly 250 mm. So that's what here it is provided as a dimension. So from the vertical line here it is 250 the center. Similarly the vertical line and the distance of the center is 250. That is exactly on the center of this horizontal line. So already we had drawn the center point on the line of symmetry. So no need to provide the horizontal dimension. Let's draw the other two circles. Which is of diameter 75. So let's try to draw one circle first and change the dimension to 75. Let's draw other circle. Here if you want to provide some dimension of the existing circle to the other circle you can use the equal command. So you can see here equal this circle select the first circle and the second circle. So whichever the circle is constrained it will automatically change its dimension to the constrained circle dimension. So here it is dimensioned as 75. So defaultly it is changing this circle as diameter 75. Now let's try to change the location of it by providing the constraints. So the horizontal distance from the vertical line is 75. The vertical distance from the horizontal line is 100. Let's change the value. So dimension between the center and the vertical line, it is 75. Center and the horizontal line is 100. So you can see the change in color, it changed from blue color to black color. It represents that that particular feature is fully constrained. Now let us make this circle and this circle as symmetric so that I no need to provide dimensions for this. So symmetric, this circle and this circle with respect to the line of symmetry. So you can see here that circle is changed to black color. So I no need to provide any dimensions for this. Now we have completed I think all the features in this profile. Let's try to extrude it for a thickness of depth of 50 mm. So click on the green tick mark to confirm it. Let's select the extrude and click over here, change the dimension to 50 and click on the green tick mark to confirm it. Now we have completed our spacer plate which is as per the dimensions given over here. Thanks for watching.